In this podcast, we will be discussing sensitive topics such as sexual assault. It is important to take care of yourself while listening. Help is available through your local rape crisis center, and you can visit mcasa.org for more information on how to be connected. Hey everyone, it's Meredith, Training and Engagement Specialist at the Maryland Coalition Against Sexual Assault, and this is MCASA On The Go, the official podcast of the Maryland Coalition Against Sexual Assault. MCASA is the federally recognized state sexual assault coalition providing training, technical assistance, and policy advocacy to rape crisis centers and member organizations across the state. MCASA also provides direct legal services to survivors of sexual assault through our Sexual Assault Legal Institute. In this podcast, we discuss topics including but not limited to sexual violence prevention and response, legal issues surrounding sexual violence, and highlighting services available for survivors across the state of Maryland. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, where we work to build a connected community dedicated to ending sexual violence and supporting survivors. In fact, April 2022 marks the 21st anniversary of the first official Sexual Assault Awareness Month. So we thought what better way to celebrate than to spend some time talking to college students across the state about their prevention efforts on campus. Each week this month, I and MCASA's Policy Advocate for Prevention and Education, Maddie, will be sitting down with student groups to discuss their sexual violence prevention efforts and how they're making an impact in their campus communities. Today, we sit down with Aviana Waters from Bowie State University's Partner in Peace program. All right, everybody, welcome back. Just to start with some introductions, my name is Meredith. I'm the Training and Engagement Specialist at MCASA. I'm also your host of MCASA On The Go. Hi, everyone. Good to be back with you. My name is Maddie LaCure. I am the Policy Advocate for Prevention and Education at MCASA, and I will turn it over to our guest for today's podcast, Aviana Waters at Bowie State University. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. So my name is Aviana Waters, and I am a peer educator with the Partners in Peace program here at Bowie State, where our main goal is um, commitment to creating and maintaining a community free of all types of sexual misconduct on campus. So one of um, Partners in Peace's initiatives is to address sexual assault, domestic violence, dating violence, stalking. Um, In addition to providing educational guidelines for training such as sexual assault violence on campus um, that may involve students, staff, or faculty members. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you got involved with the Partners in Peace program? Yes. So um, I've been a member for going on three and a half years now, and I was first introduced to Partners in Peace um, by... One of the members, Ms. Sharon Hicklin, now she's no longer with the um, organization, but I saw her tabling in the student center of Bowie State University and um, just her presence about talking about domestic violence and, you know, what she stood for. It really influenced me and it brought me closer to being part of the organization in addition to, um, you know, going through the application process, sticking with it. Because, you know, you do have to go through the application process, you have to get interviewed, and you also have to make sure that your academic requirements, such as your GPA and, um, you know, your conductive uh, history. So, like, if you've ever had any misconduct on campus, um, that also affects your application as well. So, just going through all those things um, really helped me see that Partners in Peace is a place for me. Wonderful. We'll move on to the next question. So how do you engage the Bowie State campus during Sexual Assault Awareness Month in April? Great. So um, for this month, we actually have a couple things. Um, We have a bystander social media campaign that we do on Instagram, and it's yearly. So like last year, um, we mainly focused on topics that dealt with, you know, res life, Greek life, and the athletic department mostly portraying sexual violence in TV shows and relating it to the real world and how students can identify it. Um, We also, at the end of April, hold a wellness event, which focuses on sexual wellness and health. Um, We have many workshops that include consent, how to say no, red flags, power and control, as well as safety tips for students who are on campus or new to campus. 
Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, that all sounds great in a lot of ways for the students at Bowie to get involved in April. Um, thinking about prevention also as a year-round goal, what are some of the events or initiatives you have to engage the Bowie campus year-round? Yes, yeah, so year-round we actually offer weekly tabling for all Bowie State students where we provide brochures um, on sexual assault, consent, um, what to do if someone you know is raped, and we also um, make sure to hand out all the available resources that we have on campus, so like the counseling services number, um, where they can be found, contacted, and just kind of reinforcing that, you know, hey guys, like, you know, you're not alone. Even if it's not April, we can still talk about sexual violence and domestic violence. Um, we also do something what's called a hotspot mapping project, and that's where we ask students of Bowie State University to identify areas on campus where they feel unsafe and they think that, you know, things can be improved, such as, you know, more lighting or maybe more security by that little corner or MLK, just small things that can help some of the students feel safer. Um, one last thing that Bowie State does in order to, to have prevention year-round is to conduct bystander training with freshman seminar classes. And I actually just finished one this semester um, with the English 101 class. And it's very helpful to the students when they see us come into classrooms and interact because they see that, hey, you know, even though they're in a club, they're real people, you know, they're students as well. And, you know, they can kind of relate to what we're going through. So yeah, that's just some of the ways that Bowie State does year-round prevention. Yeah, the Hot Stop Mapping Project uh, is something that MCASA is also working on with uh, Johns Hopkins University and Bowie State is one of the pilot schools. So it's great to hear that Partners in Peace is um, involved with that as well and looking at the physical and social environments of how we can improve uh, prevention efforts on college campuses. So yeah, excited to hear that you're involved with that and I'm really excited to see what more um, research and data comes out of that project at Bowie for sure. And then um, lastly, uh, could you tell us a little bit more about how Bowie State students or community members can get involved with the Partners in Priest program? Yes, so we are always looking for new pair educators and we encourage all Bowie State students to apply. All you would have to do is contact sexual assault health educator Miss Chanel O'Connor and um, she can be found in the Henry Wise Wellness Center, which is just off CMRC, across from Alex Haley Hall and Office of Res Life. Um, her email is so Connor, which is spelled S O C O N N O R at buistate.edu. You can also follow us on Instagram at BSU Wellness, which is B S U W E L L N E S S. No um, underscores or periods or anything. Um, and you can also follow Partners in Peace at BSUPIP. And our website is Sexual Violence Prevention at Bowie State. So feel free to use those resources and um, we hope to see you guys soon. Great. Thank you so much for your time and telling us more about the Partners in Peace program. Um, as Aviana shared, you can check out Bowie State's different social media channels and get involved with the Partners in Peace program. Thank you again so much for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. This Sam M. Casa is continuing our Moments Create Movements campaign to engage Marylanders and share stories of how our actions can create major change in the sexual violence prevention movement. We want to hear from people who live and work in Maryland about steps they take to prevent sexual violence. We also want to know what people think their communities could do better to prevent sexual violence. These responses may be featured on our social media throughout April. And you can check out the link in the description to submit your own answer to our Moments Create Movements campaign. Thanks for listening to MCASA On The Go. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to help support our podcast, please feel free to subscribe, share this with others in your network, or post about it on social media. 
To learn more about what MCASA is doing for Sexual Assault Awareness Month, including our Moments Create Movements campaign, feel free to check out the links in the description of this episode. Maddie and I will be back next week with another episode featuring three students from Harvard Community College to tell us more about their sexual assault and violence education program. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week.